Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Let's Talk Tennis podcast, the best podcast in my mind today. As you see, I'm not in my room. A lot of you might be wondering where I am. Do not worry. I am back at the Henry Burnick Entrepreneurship Center at Georgian College. I'm actually still I'm wearing merch again. Today, we are joined. He's not here yet. This is a pre-recording, but we are joined by the one, the only Johnny Country. A lot of you may be wondering, who is Johnny Country? Well, in this podcast, you'll learn who he is. You'll learn why he started making country music. You'll even learn why his top song, Man Made This Town, took off. As long as that, you also learn a couple different things about him. You'll learn a couple different things. Even our annual question, what is his favorite chicken tender? So, if you guys are interested, can you do me a little favor? I know I'm here by myself. Look, I even got a TV with my logo on it. How cool is that? I am upping production quality. I need to turn this down. Does this sound better? Does this sound better? This might sound better. I'm sorry for absolutely blowing out your eardrums. But if you guys are new, do me a favor. Do me a solid. Please, please, please hit that follow or subscribe button on whatever you are watching on or listening on. If you are on Spotify, hit the follow. If you're on YouTube, hit the subscribe. That's actually my main channel. You get all my content, most of my content on there. So why not do it? Amazon Music, follow. As well as even if you are on the one, the only iHeartRadio. Yes, we are on a higher heart radio now. Follow. What do you got to lose? It's free. It is free. Do you guys know that? It's free. So why not? What are you losing? Thank you guys so much for watching. And now I guess we can go on to the episode with Johnny Kind. Welcome back to the or from the intro. My name is Tendi. I am here with the one, the only Johnny Country. Thank you, my man. Thank you for being here. Uh, feel free to introduce yourself to everyone. Yes, uh, I'm uh, Johnny Country uh, from uh, Twitter, uh, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. Um, you guys can uh, subscribe to my channel with uh, 12.7 thousand subscribers. Uh, my music video, Man Made This Town, just hit uh, 9,000 views just last week. Uh, 193 likes. Wow, that's insane. And over about 40 comments. On that's the video. insane. Uh, one of my idols that uh, sent me a video message um, when my album first came out, uh, my buddy from the Roadhammers country band, uh, Jason McCoy, and uh, he uh, congratulated me on my album. That's pretty cool. And all my success, and you know, he told me to keep singing and just do what I love doing, and that was awesome to get that from him. That's the way to do it. Um, I guess we can go right into the questions. Man Made This Town, your hit single, Spotify, yep. YouTube, uh, Amazon, Amazon Music, music, Apple, music. Apple, Apple Music, all of them, all of the platforms. Yeah. When you first came up with the song, did you ever think it would be uh, as big as it is, or did you think it would kind of just be floating um, there? I knew after I posted it, I knew it was going to like grow and like get like thousands of views. Right. I was really excited about it. Um, a lot of people said I did really well with the music video. They liked... Uh, let me put like the videos of like the construction workers so it looks like they're building my town right um and then right at the end of the video it said um johnny country was born and raised in barry ontario because <laughs> i grew up here right. uh, most of my life right um yeah um everybody on my on our street uh and my mom's uh everyone knows me on that street right and it's uh, been pretty insane and uh, the karaoke bar that i go to if anyone wants to come out to it uh, it's called the Sharon House on uh, on Hearst Drive in Barrie. Uh, the address is 201 Hearst Drive, Barrie. If anyone wants to come out there and uh, watch me sing my Mammy This Town song, that'd be great to see all you out there. Yeah, so uh, It's a great little country bar, and everyone in there uh, knows me, so it's huge. Yeah, I've heard it's pretty. My parents went there the well, so last week. Some I don't think you were there, but... No. Um, Going from Man Made This Town, you started making country music around, you know, when? Remember when? Uh, when I first went to the karaoke bar, I was 10. 10. And now I'm 23. So what got you 13 years ago into making country music? Uh, my dad uh, got me watching uh, the CMT Country Music Awards on TV. Right. Um, and then we started going out to um, all the music stores and buying like every copy of like Tim McGraw's album or Jason Aldean or George Strait, uh, Lady in the Bellum, and those albums are great. Um, and then, um, my, and then my music manager, she started, uh, coming over to my house, um, working on the album with me. And then we said, we want to shoot a music video for you. 
and uh, she hired this these film crew guys. They were amazing, thanks to them. And uh, we went to this little barn on the dirt road. Right. Um, shot in the video there. Uh, we had like a little pony horse in the video with us. <laughs> um, then I'm like sitting on like a tractor. Um, yeah, and the music was great. Um, everyone loved the little video clips of like Shane downtown Barry, like on yeah. by the concert stage there. There was like we showed the Dollarama store, we showed like the whole plaza down there, and yeah. showed the stage off. It was pretty cool. Yeah, I watched it. I was watching it. I'm like, this is really cool how you got all these clips and how yeah. the even the the background in the barn, uh, and the field looked amazing. The film crew did amazing. If you want to shut them out, I don't, I don't remember who made. Do you remember who made it? The film um, crew. No, I don't. If not, that's okay. <laughs> shout out to them, whoever made yeah, Man This Town. Shout out to help me shoot the video. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate it. You guys uh, put on a really great music video. Um, I guess you're you're very active on social media about yes, yeah. your favorite country singer. And I need to know, or you need to hear live on the Let's Talk Tennis podcast, who's your favorite country singer? Uh, my favorite country artist I've always looked up to as a kid. Um, I love this guy a lot. Uh, Tim McGraw. He is the greatest guy I've ever met um so back uh, a few Decembers back uh, I saw him uh, for the first time uh, live in Las Vegas uh, when I was uh, 16 years old and uh, this this woman comes up to our seats and I get confused I'm like who are you again she goes well I'm Tim McGraw's mother I'm Betty McGraw and uh, she has a surprise for me so she gives me my family four front row seat tickets Really, and she walks me down to the front row, to the, down to the floor. The band comes on stage. They see me. They start throwing guitar picks at me to let me keep, and um, and then they started following me on all my social media. And then uh, Tim McGraw uh, came on stage and um, saw me there, standing there in the front row. And he comes over and um, shouts out my name. And my mom had no idea that, that was going to happen. That's really cool. <laughs> she was surprised about that. And then he came over and. Shout out my name and then um, wished me a happy 16th uh, birthday. That's really cool. Um, shook my hand uh, at my room here at the residence at the college here. Uh, I have his replica cowboy hat in my room right now. Wow. That's that, really uh, cool. that he actually sent me as a birthday present. That's... Um, and now that I'm on like all the Tim McGraw fan clubs all over Facebook, every fan has sent me like Christmas postcards and <laughs> just from every state and they have just been so amazing to me. And I have uh, a record uh, C that Tim McGraw actually gave me. Really? And it's, it's in the package. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. And I have it and that's pretty awesome. And, and thanks Tim for uh, getting to know me, man. Um, I remember when you were singing, you were coming to walk off the stage and you saw me stand there in the front and uh, you came down and you walked around the corner to where we were standing and you, you gave me a fist bump and you said to me, so I hear that you met my awesome mother right here. I said, yeah, I did. <laughs> and that was such a great night. Thanks to the band. Um, I hope I get to see you guys again soon. I actually did see you guys uh, this summer at uh, Boots and Hurts. Yeah. Uh, and the cool part was that uh, Tim McGraw actually ended up uh, seeing me again <laughs> because uh, there was a couple that were going in by the corner to the front, by the closer up to the right, close up right. the stage. And the security guard, I said, I didn't have a pass to get in. Right. So the security guard goes up to this couple and says, hey, can this young man, Johnny Country, join you guys? So the girlfriend's like, well, sure, he can join. <laughs> and then they took me in, and I um, stood there with them. We had a good time. Um, Tim McGraw actually saw me stand there again. He actually recognized my face, and he actually ends up uh, pointing over to me again. So that was pretty sick. That's pretty he cool. Me. Um, no, I've – Tim McGraw always yeah. definitely went in the top – yeah. 10 maybe five top yeah. country artists of all time for me and you know after the las vegas concert um right. i gave his mother my cell phone number and i said when we get back to the hotel tell tim mcgraw to give me a call once he's on the private jet so my phone starts ringing and i answer <laughs> and then i hear like hey brother it's uh tim mcgraw man how you doing i was like are you serious and, I, and he goes you had no idea i was gonna call you did you and i said nope no that's <laughs> so i know cool. how you're a busy guy so that's cool um <laughs> Do you know how many, roughly how many times you've seen Tim McGraw live uh, at least? Those are the only uh, two times the I saw him times? in Las Vegas, Boots and Hearts. How was Boots and Hearts? I, I've never gone. Oh, I've it heard... was great. I sold over like probably like, probably like a hundred like CDs while I was there of my, of uh, my albums. I sold like a bunch of them there. That's pretty cool. And this guy came up to me one day and he said, so I hear that this is your album. And I said, yeah, it is. And he goes, well, 
uh, I help run uh, country bands down in Toronto. Oh. And he says, if you're interested, uh, we would love to have you come down here and open up for some of your favorite bands that play down here. So uh, he'll get in touch with me soon. He'll let me know where that's going to be at. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I've heard it's a little crazy. Yep. Maybe a little, a little crazy, crazy f- <laughs> for me. I, I've, people have gone and they've said it's pretty yep. fun. Yeah. Um, going back to to social media. Yeah. Um, you're on <laughs> as many platforms as I can name. Yeah. Really Instagram, great. Uh, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. Um, TikTok's the one where I see you yeah, the most. TikTok, on. Yeah, TikTok. Uh, yeah, this guy here uh, follows me on uh, TikTok. I think I follow um, you on almost all. He he sees me all of them. I have. He sees me upload like every video you can think of on TikTok. Right. And um, this guy here has just been awesome to me lately, and he's a great buddy of mine. Thanks, boss. You've been you've been amazing. Uh, again, I appreciate you coming to do this. Um, I need to like. Social media. I'm in advertising. Yeah. So we talk a lot about social media and a lot of our favorite social media. So I need to know what what do you think your favorite social media? And if you're not sure, like your most used social media. Uh, I think my favorite social media would be um, YouTube with my 12.7 thousand subscribers. Right. Because a lot of people see me on there and I come here and they're like, oh, it's Johnny Country. Everyone recognizes me yeah. here, which is sick. Yeah, that's, that's that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's exciting that everyone knows me in here. So. YouTube, you go out, you make Man Made This Town, you yeah. have your other songs, Let's Vibe, Hell Yeah, there's one more. Uh, no Days Wasted. No Days Wasted, yes. Yeah, they're all on Spotify, you can go, yeah, you can download my songs and uh, set them onto your playlist and have them ready to play. Um, With those songs coming out, do you think you're going to make, they, they seem to be um one, one, al- or one song albums, do you think you're going to make a complete... 10 13 song album in the future um maybe uh, uh this year uh, my mom's gonna help me um go online and um help me look for a band for me to play with um so i hope to uh start getting gigs around barry right uh so I'll let everyone know uh if i'm getting a band or not uh, my mom will keep me updated and posted on that that's pretty cool where do you think your top spot like if you had to choose anywhere in the world yeah to perform where do you think it would be definitely boots and arts because i've always dreamed about being up on that stage um but i am uh this october uh so all my fans know this uh i think they've heard me announce this on my youtube last night um i will be taking a trip down to nashville uh this coming october let you guys know what date i'm coming which and which day um and uh, I was in contact on Facebook with, uh, this is amazing, uh, Tim McGraw's drummer, his, right. old, his old drummer from the Dance Hall Doctors, his old band, right? Uh, Billy Thunder Mason. And cool. Billy Mason uh, video chatted me uh, this past month, and uh, he said, uh, sing me a Tim McGraw song that I did drums on for Tim McGraw. So I'm like, okay. And the song was called That's Why God Made Mexico, and he said I did really well with that song. Right. He says I wear the same hat, I dress fancy like him, I look like him. And uh, he called me and said, you know, I saw your YouTube videos of you singing Tim McGraw, and uh, we would love it if... Um, you can be a part of my new tribute band now called the Ultimate McGraw Tribute. Right. And uh, so when he heard I was coming to Nashville, he said, when you come, uh, we'll meet up at the airport and then we'll uh, take you in the tour bus and we'll hit uh, an event in Nashville, uh, finish that show. And uh, he said he let me do my uh, walk off the stage thing and say, we'll see you down the road. That's pretty cool. And do my walk off and then get back on the bus and then uh, drive down to Las Vegas and hit a second show night down there. That's pretty cool. So thanks, Billy, for uh, having me a part of your new Ultimate McGraw treat. Man, man, you have been the greatest to me. And I'm excited about uh, being your fan club president for your social media sites. And uh, thanks for the drum plaque that you uh, sent me. It's up on my wall at my mom's house in my room right now. So I just love being a part of your life, man. Thank you so much. I love you, buddy. And I mean, Billy, if you want to want to reach out, get on the Let's Talk Teddy's podcast. Yeah, because Billy is a great guy down in Nashville <laughs> and Las Vegas. He has been great. Um, and I also have a, another uh, Tim McGraw tribute brother I want to give a shout out to, uh, Peter Phillips, because actually uh, my mom drove me up to uh, Ottawa, Ontario uh, just this past summer. Right. And Peter said, uh, my tribute band is going to play your original songs off your album. Right. 
And he said, get your mom to drive you down to Ottawa. So uh, my mom drove me down there. We stayed overnight in a hotel, uh, went to the event uh, that night and uh, had a huge crowd. And that outdoor event was uh, was pretty great. Yeah, I saw that one. A lot of people a... were uh, coming up to me wanting pictures and videos of me. So it was, it was a great night. Uh, I saw that one on TikTok you posted. Yeah. Um, Pretty cool. Like you had the whole setup, you had the in ears, you yeah, had in ears, monitors, things, and the band was playing behind me, and it was uh, it was pretty great that night. Um, as a lot of you now watching know, we we go to the same school. We go yeah, to the same we school. We go to the same college. Um, what's that? What's school like for you? What is uh school of me here uh, is great. I love living at the residence on my own. Um, getting to do karaoke in the last class at the restaurant here uh, has been great. Shut um, up. And th- and thanks to the guy Mark uh, down there. Um, right. He said if I have still an extra picture of me from my album, he wants me to bring it in. Right. And he's gonna find a place on the wall in the restaurant and put that up in there for me so I can get recognized every day That'd in there. That'd be pretty cool. So I gotta find one and bring it in. That's pretty cool. So, so thanks to Mark for letting me do that. Your your classes. What program are you in again? Uh, the CIC program. So what what are your what's what's your class load like? Are you always busy? Are you too much for time? Um, yeah, today was my uh, field placement online call um, with uh, Megan Jordan. Uh, she has been great with me this past year. Thanks for being an awesome teacher. You're the best. Um, and then Tuesdays is my uh, my actual uh, field placement class with my buddy uh, Mr. Harvey. Right. Uh, Harvey is, he is a jokester. He makes me laugh a lot. Um, we're doing my class called, uh, growing connections. Uh, we're right now, uh, we're growing, um, tomatoes, carrots, spinach. Oh, that's pretty cool. And, uh, we have a, a growing tent in our room down in the CIC office. And we're just learning about like seeds and potting and growing it. And it's, it's awesome. I love that class now. And, uh, Wednesdays, um, taking a music class called Music in Our Lives, right? With uh, my awesome guy music teacher, uh, Vince McCrone, <laughs> and Vince has uh, he has been great. Uh, he says he has a uh, one of the greatest uh, guitar players in the class. So he asked me one day if I wanted to bring my acoustic guitar for my mom's and bring it in and play with them. That'd be great. That'd be pretty fun. Yeah. Um. Yeah. That sounds pretty fun. I'd love. Yeah. I thanks love to Vince acoustic. for that. Love my acoustic. Uh, we, I, I talked. I had another guy on the podcast. Uh, shout out to Jonah. Um, and we were talking guitars for a good maybe fifteen minutes. Is there a certain guitar that you play, or is it like uh, acoustic, yeah, I just electric? play uh, an acoustic. An acoustic. Are you looking to transition into electric, or are you uh, just sticking with acoustic? Yeah, I want another electric. I, want an electric. I think yeah. those are sick when you plug into the speaker and it oh, just yeah. sounds so good in the speaker. Um, yeah, they're they're amazing. Uh. Are you, do you are you more are you big into guitars or are you kind of just you know you like um, yeah I'm into guitars um, I took a um, music um, club uh, this past year um, shout out to my awesome music teacher guy Cody shout out uh, who has been teaching me for years right um, the place is called uh, Music Lessons Barry um, and uh, Cody and us uh, we played a church uh, downtown Barry Ontario here. Uh, called the Collier United Church. Right. Uh, really close to City Hall. Uh, we did a Christmas uh, gig uh, this past year. Um, one of our female music teachers, she got up there, and I went up there with her, and we both sang a Kenny Rogers and Dolly Parton duet song Ooh, that's... called uh, I'll Be Home With Bells On, their amazing song. Christmas song. Great song. And everyone, the whole crowd was there. Everyone loved it. Um, half my family was there to watch me so that was great uh we loved uh performing there uh and then last year we did a uh, spring gig there at the same place and i sang uh tim mcgraw real good man that's a great and song i had my guitar lesson band be- uh, playing behind me i didn't need the ear and monitors there because we had the crowd there <laughs> but um yeah i had the band playing and i sang that real good man song so that was uh, that was my favorite day to be there and do that so you you sing a lot of songs, a lot of Tim McGraw songs. A lot of Tim McGraw, George Strait. George Strait, great. George Strait music. is the king of king, country music. King he of country is music. the best. Uh, I would argue Garth Brooks is a close second. 
Oh, yeah, Gart Brooks. Yeah, Friends Real in Little Places, second. Colin Baton Rouge. If, those are my two favorites. When you go down to uh, Nashville, if you go yeah. to the, the Friends in Little Places bar, let me know how it is. I really want to go. Yeah, and also, uh, just to let you all know, down in Nashville, Jason L. Dean uh, has his own official bar. Oh, does and, he? Yeah, he comes to play at it every That's year. That's cool. Um, and again to, uh, Billy Mason, the Tim McGraw's drummer, um, because he said, uh, he debuted with Tim McGraw at first at the Grand Ole Opry, uh, right. years ago when he, when he was a young guy. Um, Billy said, you know, I know everybody at the Grand Ole Opry and he says, when you come, I'm also going to take you for a backstage tour of the Grand Ole Opry. That's cool. And before the show start, you get to meet your idol, Charles Estin. From your favorite show in Nashville on TV, who plays the father Deacon Claiborne? Isn't that he also is is he's also in Outer Banks, right? Yeah, and wow. I also get to meet uh, my other favorite, Forever and Ever, Amen, Randy Travis. That would be awesome. I would love to. Meet and Randy I Travis. get to uh, take a picture of myself standing in the middle of the Grand Ole Opry stage around the circle. That's really cool. So I get to take a picture of myself up on the stage. So I'm very excited about going to do that. I'm excited to see that on. And TikTok. I can't wait to meet uh, Brad Paisley, Darius Rucker, Lady in the Bellum, uh, Reba McIntyre, just literally everyone there. And I'm looking forward to love meeting all my favorite celebrity singers. So it's gonna be exciting. So out of all the country songs, yeah. Out of all the Tim McGraw songs, out of any song, what do you think your like top song that isn't your own? What do you think your top song would be? My my very uh, top Tim McGraw song was um, "Live Like You're Dying." Yeah, great uh, song. because uh, it was my grandma's favorite before she passed away. Um, she died uh, last year, uh, age seventy eight. Uh, she had uh, congestion heart failure and. She said I was, I was her favorite uh, grandson that she's ever had. And uh, she was always the best, and she loved me very much. And the days that she wasn't, when she got sick, uh, I would sing her that song. And she had tears running down her face, and I started crying. And that was her favorite song. But every time I go to the Sharon house for karaoke every Friday night, uh, I dedicate that song to her in her memory. That's a great song, especially for such... The context, amazing yeah. song. And uh, one more uh, shout out to Tim McGraw again because after the Las Vegas concert, I went on TikTok and I found him on there and I duetted one of his videos on TikTok. And he actually, um, everyone, you're going to love hearing this. He went on to my TikTok account, saw my video of me duetting his video, and he wrote to me in the comments saying, Hey, brother, I remember you. That's pretty cool. I gotta go back and find that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it, that video was uh, it was pretty sick that he remembered me. Yeah, that that sounds pretty cool. <laughs> um, growing up, you were doing country, you're doing this, doing that. Yeah. Along with that, a lot of people I don't think understand you were also a wrestling fan. Uh, yes, WWE. Yeah, was um, my favorite. Growing up was also I was a huge wrestling fan. Huge. I think I kind of grew into it, but I was a wrestling fan too. Is there a certain match, a certain moment that you could put as your number one? Out of very, I know it's a very hard choice. Like a song? Uh, song, a uh, moment in like WWE history. Oh, WWE history. Um, I think it was um, uh, John Cena versus The Rock Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> That's a that good one. That was my favorite wrestling match. Uh, and The Undertaker was my second favorite, but um, I was very shocked that he retired, so it sucks. Yeah. Um, I wish he'd come back, but he's retired now. Undertaker, again, one of the... I think he's one of the most greatest underrated. Yeah. He's the great, like arguably the greatest, but he's also one of the most underrated. I have a wrestling podcast with my friend, yeah. and we did a top, top five, like Mount Rushmore, top so five. top four, top yeah. five. Um and I think I've said in that where he didn't put the Undertaker. Yeah. And I'm like, there's, he's like, oh, I totally forgot because of how underrated he, you know, you think big wrestlers, you think Stone Cold, Hulk Hogan, yeah. The Rock, John Cena, Undertaker's not usually there, but it's definitely an underrated moment. Yeah. Um. Other than the Undertaker. Do you know any like who else is your favorite? Uh, Edge from WWE, but he's retired now. He's retired. He's also Canadian. But he actually uh, made a surprise comeback, yeah. and he actually did another match. He's uh, in AEW so was, right now. I, I was pretty pumped that he came back and did uh, another match. He's uh, he's uh, Triple, H Triple H is H. still fighting. 
No, or, I think he retired. Or yeah, sorry, yeah, he you guys, retired. yeah, he retired. I think, yeah, and I think uh, yeah, I'm not sure if any of you guys know this. Um, apparently, now The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, is now the official um, president of WWE, WWE of the board. Yeah, he's on the the TKO board of members. Yeah, yeah TKO um, board of members. Yeah. He's also back. A yeah, lot he's of, back. A lot of people are very, very. Was, everybody was surprised that everyone the was Rock surprised. came back. Very controversial based on the context of what happened. Yeah. Again, check that out. And uh, my Down favorite show, uh, my favorite show on Netflix that I'm watching right now, uh, it's a cop show called SWAT. SWAT's a great show. SWAT is the most awesome show I've ever watched. I'm addicted to watching it now. And I'm actually texting on Instagram with one of my favorite actors from SWAT. Right. The guy Mumford, who plays uh, Peter Onorati. Okay. The guy that retired from one of the episodes on SWAT. Right. And he actually uh, ended up uh, sending me a video message uh, thanking me for being a huge fan of SWAT. And he also said how awesome that I am. I think I might have seen that one on TikTok. Yeah, on TikTok. Yeah. Um, so yeah, guys, Peter and Ronnie has been my buddy for a few days now. That's pretty cool. And it's pretty awesome that I get to actually chat with him. And my mom was actually surprised when I show her. She's like, oh my God, like, honey, I cannot believe that he <laughs> sent you that. And then she said, yeah, that was so nice of me to do that. And I said, yeah, I've never had a video message from my favorite buddies like that. Like, man, like that was awesome. That's really cool. Um, going with your, back to your, to your mom, you mentioned her a yeah. lot. Is she... Would you say she's the biggest influence in your life? Or big yeah, life? my mom's one of the biggest influences in my life. Um, ever since I became um, an artist, um, she's always been there for me, always looked up to me. Uh, she loves me very much. Um, uh, every gig that I want to go do, uh, she drives me to all the gigs. That's really I get cool. booked. She takes me to every one of them. Um, I'm also famous at uh, the restaurant Wild Wing in Barry here. Right. Uh, my picture of me is actually up on the uh, Wall Hall of Fame there. Oh, I gotta go find. Where Where's that one? Which on uh, Maple View Street in Barry? Maple View is that by, by the golf course? by the Sear Links Golf Course? Yeah. Okay. Right across the street right. from there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and shout out to my fa- uh, shout out to my favorite ladies at my dentist there, uh, <laughs> White Sear Dental. Uh, they actually have my uh, album there. That's pretty cool. And uh, they've had it there for a few months now, and um, they still know me in there. So thank you guys for uh, always taking care of me there. Thank you guys. Um, so going back to your mom, I've told you this story. I don't think I've actually told yeah. people watching this this story. Uh, your mom and me yeah, have the has same. Been the greatest mom ever. Yeah. Um, had the same hairdresser. Kim. Uh, yes, my mom's girlfriend, uh, Kim McQueen. My mom gets her hair done at her house all the time. And my mom ran into him there. Yeah. And uh, she actually saw him there, and that was pretty cool. She called me the next night and said, hey, I ran into your, your buddy Jacob there. <laughs> and I thought, oh, wow, how cool. Um, and I just found out that uh, next term here at the college, uh, Kim will actually start working here Yeah. at the hairdressing uh, class uh, downstairs. Yeah. the CIC office, so I'm looking forward to going in, like surprising her. She has no idea that I'm gonna surprise her, so I can't. She wait. was, uh, she was there last semester, I think. Yeah, I they saw her said last. That she was there last semester, and she's gonna be there again this year. Um, so I think so it was I'm actually excited. after a day or two after I think I first met you. Yeah. Uh, I went to go get my hair cut. So Kim and my mom go way back. They're elementary school friends. Yeah. Um, and they, well, I go in. And, you know, you're, I didn't know it was your mom, but there's a yeah. lady sitting in the chair. It's me and my brother. We're kind of just sitting there waiting. Yeah. And then you call her about karaoke at Montana's. Yeah. And the only reason and I remember yeah. who Johnny was, because he came up to us. It was me and Liam in the bar yeah. at Georgian. And he's like, hey, guys, I'm going to be at Montana's tonight. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, oh, man. I, I wasn't able to make it, sadly. Yeah. Um, but hopefully they... Apparently they uh, they're not doing karaoke there no more because no because no, they weren't uh, they weren't getting a whole lot of people there so they they said they shut it down mm. last time I contacted them I said are you guys still doing it and they said no we're done for right now until we get more it people is, in. it is a hard thing to get people to so they're they're hoping karaoke. they're hoping to bring it back and I'm hoping to go back hopefully soon if they have it up and running again hopefully um but yeah so you call your mom about the karaoke and I yeah. go. Then her and Kim are talking. I go, I'm so sorry to interrupt, but is your song is your is your son Johnny Country? And she goes, 
you met him at school, didn't you? <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, yeah I met him. No, they, yeah, they, Weirdly, yeah, I met him today. Yeah. He goes, yeah, he's, uh, yeah, he goes around, he makes country <laughs> music. And I'm like, yeah, he came up yeah. to, to me and my friend in the bar and he scared, <laughs> he scared my friend in the bar. He came up and <laughs> ah, scared him. Um, yeah, that was funny. Um, but I'm like, yeah, I, m- I met him. He's a really sick dude. He goes, yeah. Um, he keeps selling all the albums. Yeah. I'm starting to run out. I need to get him some more. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, it was kind of just a cool little, oh, I know, I know this person based off of this person. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was great that my mom knew you. Yeah. That was awesome. Uh, <laughs> and then I told you or asked you about doing this and I'm like, yeah. hey, tell me, tell me, i say hi. Um, moving on the world of going back, I guess, to the world of music. Yeah. If you weren't a country star, country yeah. singer. What music do you think you'd go for? Just still, like just all the country music I can think of. As much country music as you could? Okay. Yeah. Uh, and I- I'm also dreaming. I hope that I get to sing on the Grand Ole Opry stage one right. day. So you hope said your top is Grand Ole Opry? Yep, Grand Ole Opry. And Boots and Hearts. Boots and Hearts, yeah. Those are two great, two great yeah. spots to sing. You know, last year, my first year when I went to Boots and Arts, I met female artist uh, Mackenzie Porter. Right. And uh, I actually surprised her and gave her a copy of my album. Right. And she said, I'm going to take it in the tour bus with me tonight. I'm going to listen to it on the way back, on the way home. And I said, perfect. So let me know what you think of it. Right. Um, and uh, she was, and I got a picture with her too. So it was great meeting her. That's pretty cool. Um, Tim McGraw and a rapper singer named uh, I'm not sure if you guys heard of him uh, Shy Carter um, I can't name him off the top of Shy Carter and Tim McGraw did a new song called Way Down Right um, So Tim McGraw joins uh, Shy Carter In the music video if you guys look that up uh, Way Down You can find their song and their music video on YouTube uh, It's a great music video Great song I'm learning it myself Right And uh, I met Shy Carter Uh I came up to the fence and he was taking pictures with the fans after the show. So I went up there and I spoke to Shy Carr and I said, I know your buddy Tim McGraw. He's on my idols. And he said, Oh, so you've seen our new song way down. And I said, yeah, I've listened to it. He goes, what do you <laughs> think of it? I said, man, like best cool rap song I've ever heard. You guys do. And, um, so I stood next to him getting a picture with him. He's like, <laughs> and he's like pointing over to me like yeah i knew i know this guy now um so that was pretty cool uh get to meet him and it was packed at boots like thousands and thousands of people were there really yeah and they have their own karaoke stage there <laughs> um they have like a little karaoke band up there and, and and there's a book that you can look at all the songs in the book but they had no jason ld no george Strait, no tim mcgraw nothing oh really and i wanted to go up on that karaoke stage but they had no songs that i knew Wow! So I didn't bother going up. That's 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 a miss right there. That would yeah. But yeah, I, Boots hope and they, Hearts, I hope your... they have my favorite songs there. <laughs> Boots and Hearts, year. get your stuff together, figure it out, put some country in there yeah. for next time. And um, thanks to uh, Jason Aldean's drummer because I was actually at the Jason Aldean concert in Toronto at Budweiser Stage uh, this past summer. So um, thank you for having me there, brother. It was great to see you there, man. I think my parents were at that one. I don't remember. They they had a bunch of concerts over the summer. Yeah, I'm planning on going back to Boots Hearts this August for the CJ Saldine headline this year. That'd be pretty cool. Trying to get tickets for it. Uh, I'm also a little brother to uh, the guy that sings Hold My Beer, uh, Aaron Pritchett. I was actually just about to bring him up. Uh, I met him at the ranch uh, this past summer, too. Um, right. That was when I was about 22. Right. I turned 22 at his concert that night. That's pretty cool. Uh, he actually sang Hold My Beer in a dedication song to me. And then uh, he grabs my hand, pulls me from the from the crowd, and I went backstage, and he actually recognized me off my Twitter account. Oh. And said he knew I was coming because he saw me put a post up saying I was going to be there. So he knew I was coming. That's so he cool. pulled me from the crowd and brought me backstage and I gave him a hug and talked to him for a bit. So that was really great getting to hang out with Aaron. And I told him last night, I said, hey, brother, I'm coming to see you again this Friday, March 1st. My mom <laughs> got me tickets to come see you a second time. Right. So I get to go see him again this year. That's so I'm pretty, pretty pumped cool. up for that. I uh, When I was a kid, keep in mind, my parents, huge country fans. Yeah. I, I grew up listening to Hold My Beer, not knowing what it was about. Yeah. Now that I'm older, I realize <laughs> it's... Uh, yeah. What it's about, and it's about, you know, 
Yeah. R- r- listen to the song, you'll realize what it's yeah, about. Great ki- song. Like kissing a girlfriend. Yeah. And Steal- stealing a guy's girlfriend because yeah, he's not paying attention. Yeah, stealing a guy's girlfriend because he's, yeah. Um, <laughs> that was great. Growing up, singing my heart out to it. <laughs> um, And then not knowing what it was. Yeah. Eric Pritchett, um, would love to meet him one day. Sadly, I don't think I'm able to go to the. That's at the ranch again, yeah. right? Yeah, and shout out to my other buddy at the ranch, uh, George Canyon. I also met him there, too. Love George Canyon. Right after Aaron Bridget. And George Canyon, uh, he actually um, signed uh, the side brim of my cowboy hat that I'm wearing right here. That's pretty cool. Uh, the signatures yeah, on the did. inside That's there, he, he signed it. Uh, George Canyon gave me a copy of his new album to me as well, and he signed right. that for me as well. Um. And he actually sang Drinking and Thinking in another dedication song to me as well. That's pretty cool. Um, and then he actually announced that my favorite show, Trailer Park Boys, he announced that my favorite guy, Bubbles, Love was Bubbles. in was in his music video for his song, Drinking and Thinking. That's pretty cool. So when you guys go watch George Canyon's music video song, Drinking and Thinking, you'll see Bubbles pop up in the beginning of the video. Right. And I'm actually pretty good at doing his voice, uh, <laughs> doing impressions it. of him. Um, so when he sees one of the ladies standing in the line, he goes, uh, he goes, how are you doing? <laughs> I need a drink. Well, that's actually really, and no, then, that's insanely Bubbles, good. And Bubbles, and Bubbles runs up on that stage with George Canyon and he starts singing, drinking and thinking with him. And he's like, imagine yeah, and he's, and he's trying to take beer from these motorcycle idiots <laughs> and he, and he, and he's like. Pointing up at the ceiling, and the guys look up, and he's like, disappear, like he's gone. And he <laughs> runs away from them, and then he's like looking over at the ladies, like, you yeah, know, the classic bubbles. And he's like, he's like, oh god, this place makes me frisky. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I was actually with the Trailer Park Boys with Ricky, Bubbles, and Julian right. at the Niagara Falls Comic Con uh, right. this past summer too. I was there with them, and they gave Bubbles a copy of my album, and he looks at me, and he goes. Oh, decent. You got your album due yet, bud? <laughs> and I said, yeah, I do. Got, I got, I have my own album yet. And he goes, decent. Holy shit. <laughs> and he was actually pretty happy about getting my album. Um, and to piss Ricky off, <laughs> I did uh, Bubbles' puppet, Conky. Right. And I did, uh, I did his voice where I was like, oh, my Julian. <laughs> my handsome Julian Patrick says that you are so fucking sexy. Roadhouse. <laughs> Fucking dirty dancing, and then and then uh, Ricky would look at me and go, "That is fucking cocky," and you know it. <laughs> and he was like, "Frig off, Joey." Uh, <laughs> and then at the rec room, I actually hung out with uh, with Randy from right. Trailer Park Boys because Randy came and did his cheeseburger picnic show there. Right. And I was with my two buddies, uh, Aiden and Ronan, and we met Randy after the show. There was a lineup, but Randy didn't want me to wait that long. So Randy sees me there standing there, and he grabs my hand and says, get up here, Johnny. And I slapped his his, his big gut, and I said, <laughs> hey, you big cheeseburger eating morris. And, uh, <laughs> and he actually uh, ended up giving me a cheeseburger, there you go. and I so got when- to eat it with him. And then we did a cheers to Mr. Leahy, who unfortunately passed away uh, last year. Uh, so I, I grabbed my iced tea glass, and we cheers together, and we said, let the liquor do the thinking. <laughs> and we did a nice little cheers to Leahy and his tribute and his memory. So that was great that we uh, got to do that. Um, one of my fans was actually there, um, uh, and he actually um, built his own uh, Bubbles Green Bastard truck. Really? So he actually took me out to the parking lot, and I sat in the front seat of him, and he drove. And I actually got to go for a spin and a little ride in the Green Bastard truck. Oh, I think I saw that. And there's, that. there's people in the parking lot yelling, yeah, like, let's go. <laughs> and um, I did a YouTube video for my channel when I was in the Green Bastard truck. So that was uh, pretty cool that he took me for a little spin ride That's in the Green cool. Bastard truck. So that was pretty the most funnest night ever. That's pretty cool. Man, um, get, me getting all to me all these celebrities has... Th- this has been like the greatest year of my life for this. Right. It's been so awesome lately, man. Yeah. I cannot it, believe this happened to me. No, this is, you know, congratulations to you, all yeah, your success. This is unbelievable. I'll ask, I'll ask you a couple more questions. Yeah. Um, your hat collection. Yeah. How many do you think you own off the top of your of cowboy hats off the top of your head? It seems <laughs> like you have like a new one every other day. Yeah. I got right now, I got Tim McGraw. Um, this is uh my well my George Strait right. hat. Uh I have uh Jason Aldean's cowboy hat in my room at the residence. Right. 
uh, and one of the guys also in the in the last class restaurant from here from Jordan uh, yesterday uh, gave me a uh, Coors Light uh, Boots and Hearts cowboy hat and oh, that's a belt cool. buckle. That's kind of cool. So about four cowboy hats. About four cowboy that's hats. Cool. Yeah. Um, and I also have uh, at my mom's house. I have my white George Strait cowboy hat. Uh, from the movie Pure Country that he That's wore really cool. when he was a young guy in that movie. That's pretty cool. And that is one of my favorite top George Strait movies is Pure Country with him in it. That was my my, my very first top favorite movie I've ever got to watch. Yeah, George, Pure Country, great movie. If yeah, you haven't George watched Strait. it, go watch it. Amazing movie. Yeah. My favorite song he did in the beginning of the movie was uh, Heartland. Heartland. Uh, that's yeah. on constant repeat in my car when I drive. Uh, again, Again, all the links to his stuff will be in the descriptions to the... All the channels, all the yeah, all the, all the all the links to all the social medias. Hope to see you all down the road. Yep, and all um, my gigs is gonna be exciting. I need to ask. I ask almost every guest this uh, as when they leave. As this is the Let's Talk Tendies podcast, I'm Chicken Tendy. Uh, I need to know what is your favorite chicken tender tender chicken nugget like from what place? Like chicken nugget? Chicken nugget from what place? McDonald's. McDonald's. Yeah, hands down. Yeah. Perfect. Because I, uh, three years ago, I worked there at the McDonald's on Young Street in Barrie where the where they had the play place. Right. Uh, I worked there for about three years. Um, my coworkers were great to me there, and there's some of them are still there that I know. Um, but yeah, it was great uh, working there. So guys, uh, thank you so much for uh, having me at McDonald's. It's been a great year with you guys there. And thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate it. Thank you, Johnny. Yeah. See you all down Check the road. Hand while I do it. Yeah. Um, shout out to Johnny Country. All his links will be in the description. Um, anything else you want to shout out before you go? Before um, we. Yeah. Uh, also a uh, huge shout out to uh, the Pure Country uh, radio station uh, because uh, they're actually uh, texting with me over Facebook right now. Right. Um, they saw that my album was coming out, and then um, the other day. Um, they did a live stream on Instagram. I went on and uh, they actually uh, gave my name a shout out on the live stream. Oh, that's pretty cool. They saw our buddy Johnny Country is on right now watching us. Hey, buddy. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So thank you, Pure Country Radio Station, for uh, letting me be in touch with you guys. It's been awesome. And thank you guys so much for watching. I guess yep. we'll go. See you guys down the road. See you guys down the road. We'll head out to the outro. Yep. See you guys later. Oh man, welcome back from the video. I'm sitting at such a weird angle. I'm gonna stay like this. Johnny Country. What an interesting what an interesting guy. Great guy, by the way. Amazing guy. Um it was awesome to have him on here. Again, Johnny, thank you again, brother. Uh you're amazing. Thank you for showing me the uh the guy from SWAT. I'm blanking on his name. I know we just talked about it. I have a very bad memory. I'm so sorry, buddy. Um you are amazing. Enjoy your life. Enjoy whatever success comes from you. Tell Aaron Pritchett I say hi. Um, trying to think. Anything else I need to say here? No. Follow. Uh, check out all the links in the description, including mine as well as Johnny's. Uh, now, as I leave into this, he did request. I probably cut it out from the video, but he did request that I play one of his songs in the end. So I will play a part of Man Made This Town, the song that we uh, song that we talked about mostly in this podcast and yeah so thank you guys enjoy man made this town it'll be maybe i think i'll put in the chorus enjoy man made this town check it out on all platforms and we will see you in the next one peace